At the Innovation Centre, we've got hundreds of different crop types here, from tomatoes, peppers, cucumbers, berries, and they all require different types of growing systems. One aspect of that is the gutter system that is used. When we look at a gutter, we want to know how much size is required to support the growing medium. And then also drainage, we want to be able to collect all the water that is fed into the plants. When we're talking about closed gutters, I think it's important to understand the benefits being no access to sunlight, algae buildup is very minimal, and uh, the gutter has a lot of support. It's firm and structurally sound. Drawbacks being sanitation and cleaning out the gutter at the end of the crop. It takes a little more effort and some extra equipment and also time to be able to clean out the closed gutter system. Main advantages to open gutters, one is you can see everything that's happening in the system. Easy to clean out at clean out time and sanitize and disinfect. The biggest challenges we see with open gutters, often fruits and produce, leaves and algae growth getting into the system and clogging the flow of water. That also tends to add to the potential for contamination between slabs or bags because your water builds up. For growers that are contemplating open gutter over a closed gutter, it's really important to understand what the end goal is. And this can be determined as well by the length of your rows, the size of your greenhouse, and the crops that are being grown.